So with Team of the Year coming to the end, we have got, I believe, the first Honorable Mentions SBC out of the whole promo. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's the big man, Seko Fofana, an absolute machine last year. If you had his player of the month, drop me a like on this video. The card was a demon. Six foot one, high, high, four star, four star. Not super cheap, but reasonably priced. 84, 85, 83 to get him done with one special card needed. The links are interesting. Eric Bailly is a great way to get chemistry to this man. So is Openda playing for the same team, RC Lens. But the card itself looks like an absolute machine. Box to box center mid, no real standout stats apart from the physicals, the stamina and the strength being really solid. But with the Shadow Chem style, like we go 90 plus on the pace department, 90 plus on majority, I'm pretty certain almost all of the defending stats. And he just looks like a tank, man. Even as an out and out CDM, but I want to try him as that box to box. We might rotate it in game depending on how we're getting on. Leadership trait in there as well. Going forward, shooting stats might do a job for you, maybe, but don't rely on them. Short pass and long pass looking good. I'm excited, man. I just remember how dominant he was in the midfield last year that I've got high hopes for him this time round. This is the team, as you can see, boys. I probably could get a, a left back on Ken, but at this stage, I really don't care, lads. Let's get into some gameplay. All right, here we go. Chaplin FC. This is elite division, by the way. I need 12 games to get the milestone reward. So I'll be live on Twitch later today. A uh, little plug for myself. Link is in the description. Come check me out. Sweating out the elite division. My man's team's decent, but is he braced? Is he ready? For the Fafana Madness. What is that kick clash? I had to back out of that one. I couldn't stand the kick clash. It's one of my most hated things on this game. Uh, so let's see if the new kits. Actually can see which player is which. Let's see if that can uh, make Seko Fafana provide the goods for me. Sergio, that's huge. Alright, Seko, let's go, man. Little speed boost. Little give and go now. Hit the wing. Seko Fafana with the pace, the power. Just the drive. Picks up Benz in the middle. Keep the composure, and there's the goal. We lead 1-0. Seko Fafana getting assist early doors. That's where he's going to be classed, man. Like overlapping your, uh, your cam, your strikers. Bombing down the wing, creating something. The dribbling's not crazy, but like just the pace and the power alone. You're going to be able to stride past players. And uh, it picks the pass, and we get the lead. Let's go. I've only just realised, I didn't see this man's team, but is that is that Prime R9? He's got the little R9 cut. I don't know which version that is, lad. Ref, surely. We've been absolutely decked. Uh, we got a little bit lucky. However, what this is, is a chance. Technically not the debut because we quit in the last one. But it's a chance for the boy to get on the score sheet. What pens? 59. Good luck with this, lads. Could go anywhere. It's in the back of the net. My man's already got a golden assist, lads. 17 minutes in. We are flying. Oh, lads. The little, little deflection there, man. It's not going to throw him off. Excuse me? My man is glided. He's dancing. Unbelievable. You see the little, the physicals, man. He's going to come away with the majority of his 50-50 jewels and the finish, the four-star skills. Two goals and assist in the elite division. Seko for Fana. Let's get into game number two. Game number two, then. What are we saying? Nick Pope in the sticks. Goal Carl Walker and a stats-looking team. That Makaleli card, man. It's going to be a battle between the boys and I'm ready. Little double A. Beautiful. Seko. Lovely little touch. The dribbling like isn't crazy, right? He's not cracked, but let's be real. He does a job. Almost a phenomenal ball. A pender his teammate, almost linking up to perfection. And just like that, lads, is he onside? That doesn't matter. Sergio's there. Let's go, boys. End-to-end -end stuff so far. Little give and go. Honestly, love this man striding forward. Yaya Torre-esque. The big, powerful midfielders, man, on this game. I'm my bread and butter. He feels quicker. He feels more like um, better. Well, not as good on the ball as Pogba, actually. But more in control of the ball with physicals, I think. Like, he's going to be harder to stop when he's running at the fences, I think, than Paul Pogba. And he definitely feels on that quicker side. Oh, Mbappe. Cool, calm, collected. Openda pokes it home as well. Come on. That's big for Merrick. For Fana. We can go now, lads. We can go. Almost, almost perfect. I feel like Benzema probably could have done a bit better there, in all fairness. But the dribbling, the simple skills to get past the defender and pick the pass, beautiful scenes. Shilul is in, lads. Big save from Czech as well. What a goalkeeper, lads. It's all going our way so far. Oh, 
that's a crazy save from the keeper. We're looking dangerous though, boys. But man's already had enough as well. That is beautiful scenes. Let's get on to another one. All right, what's next then? Italia checking the net. That is a stacked, stacked looking team. Fernando Morientes up front though. Killian, that's huge. Seco. Seco for Fana. Created the space, got the shot off with his left foot as well. Trouble the keeper. Maybe a green time in that situation or a proper low driven shot. We might be seeing that here ripple in the back of the net. Oh, that's a pass. What a pass. What a finish. Jarzinho on the score sheet. We got a game on our hands, boys. Come on. Seco for Fana. First time ball into Killian. That's nice. Mate, Fafana again supporting the play. In that situation, you may get bullied a little bit. If you commit to go one way, his agility to switch to the other is not that fast. So he's easily intercepted. It's too easy. I tried to block it a little bit slower by it, by you though, man. Jarzinho honestly is my kryptonite. All right, counter attack, Seco. Into Killian. Blatant foul, but we've still got the ball. We're still going. Killian Mbappe. Seco Fafana is in the box as we speak, boys. So is Benzema. I mean, did he win the ball there? Is it potential that I've been robbed from a penalty? Boys, he really does have a turn of acceleration. And there's another assist. That little link up, man. Seco Fafana hitting the line, beating my opponent's fullback with ease, keeping the ball under control, picking up Benzi boy, and he's bagging it, lads. Game on. Mate, he's done so hard to beat Pogba to the ball there. It's a mental tackle for my opponent. Uh, but that's what you want from Seco. Winning balls in the middle of the park. Beating those overpowered defenders like Paul Pogba. Zidane, those lot. Uh, and just basically doing it in style. I've moved him into the CDM role for this second half, boys. Just see how he feels as that out-and-out lone CDM in a 4 uh, 4 one 2 one 2 narrow. See if he can do a job there. Uh, but most importantly, boys, we need to get a goal back into this one. And then it is game on. Touch is just too heavy. The read's there, but what is that little touch, man? Honestly, I don't know how he's not taking it under control, boys. Phenomenal work effort from the boy, though. He is playing for the badge right now. Back at it, sweeping up again, in position, happy days. High, high work rates, of course. So the big man, Seco Fafana. Three games played in total, because one of them was a nil-nil rage quit. Uh, two goals, two assists. Pretty decent return from the boy. Now, I am not really surprised about this card. Like, it doesn't really blow me away, but he does exactly what I expect him to be doing. He's just a powerhouse. A true tank in the midfield. He's got the presence, the stocky build to bully basically your opponent's teams. Uh, he's quick. You can really see it, lads. The lengthiness on the card. I believe he is naturally lengthy. Um, can we check this quickly? Let me see his price as well while I'm at it, boys. 158k he comes in. That's so similar to Jorginho. He is lengthy. You can see it because he truly strides in behind. Finishing surprised me. He's got some great goals of him. That um, second one was beautiful. The assist, the link-up plays there. He's able to beat a player with pure pace and keep it close to his feet with a dribble. He can do the technical stuff as well if it comes to it. Out and out CDM. I feel like he's better suited as a box-to-box -box, or at least an attacking, advancing CDM, maybe in a 4-2-3-1, but I feel like in that 4-1-2-1-2 narrow, man. Him striding up the left-hand side of the midfield, unreal. He's going to be a beast for you. Cutting in on that left foot, man, and the right foot, uh, pinging those finesses from the left side. It'll be an absolute thing of dreams. I think it's a W, lads. Really like the price. Sick little player. Links aren't really an issue. Lee Gun and, of course, Eric Bailly helps massively. A pen is a nice cheap way if you got him as a red player pick. You could, of course, sub him out in game. I think it is a dub. But do let me know your opinion down below on Seco Fafana. I'll be more subscribed if you're new. Catch you very soon.